the UK Court of Appeal referred us back to the UK English High Court, actually. So we are not being referred back to Uganda, but we are being referred back to the UK English High Court because that's where the claim was, first, was filed. So um, the options available to us now, um, which we are going to be uh, engaging with our board as well and, uh, and management, is to uh, make a determination based on how we review the judgment. It's uh, either we can appeal uh, to the UK uh, Supreme Court, or alternatively, we go back to the UK English High Court and then they'll hear the matters. Because in that particular instance, the, the, what the UK Court of Appeal said, they didn't have sufficient information because, as you know, on appeal, you're basically just given a few facts. So their view is that they didn't have sufficient information to, to make a determination on the underlying uh, particular issue. The shareholders are fully behind the bank. Um, they are quite confident about it. Two, as you know, as late as uh, December and as late as June this year, we had to recapitalize the bank. As you know, the Bank of Uganda did put up new guidelines on capital, and the bank is fully capitalized. So, as you know, in this market, there are some banks that are still struggling to find the capital. So we are fully capitalized. That's a mark of confidence by the shareholders that they believe in the bank. Three, as I've indicated, the bank is actually profitable. We had an annual general meeting where all the shareholders were present. They did receive a dividend, and they've given us a mandate to proceed to run and execute our strategy that we've rolled out to grow this business.